So, you are building a PC or just want to upgrade your old desktop or laptop, and you need RAM. So, let's check it out. I'm going to assume that you don't want to know all the technical stuff behind it, and are just interested in how to pick the right RAM for your needs. So, the first thing we need to know is whether it will be compatible with your other hardware. The first one to check is the motherboard. Look up the product page on the manufacturer's website and scroll down until you find a few things. First of all, what generation of RAM it supports? Second of all, how much of it it can handle? And last but not least, how many DIMM slots it has? The generation is the most important aspect and it will most certainly be the last generation DDR3 the current generation DDR4, or the by now pretty ancient DDR2. If however it is DDR1, you should seriously consider upgrading your hardware. Next, you need to know the maximum amount of RAM your motherboard can actually handle. This is pretty straightforward. You can't put 32 gigs of RAM into your PC if your motherboard only supports up to 16 gigs. Scroll down until you find that and write it down. Thirdly, Find out how many DIMM slots your motherboard has. These are the places where you will insert your brand new shiny RAM sticks. On a side note, if instead you are looking to upgrade your laptop, you have to look for the SO DIMM slots. Again, nothing complicated here if your board supports 16 GB of RAM but only has 2 slots and you want to max it out, buying 4 sticks of RAM, each with a capacity of 4 GB will leave you looking pretty silly when you go to put all that into your new PC. You might also want to check your CPU's page to see if it has any preferences for RAM memory. For example, the fancy new Skylake processors from Intel only officially support DDR4 and DDR3L, which is not the same as DDR3. This is mostly because the first two run at lower voltages, which the IMC supports. And just to be safe, it is also worth noting that aftermarket CPU coolers might obstruct your DIMM slots, so check that with a quick Google search to know if you need to get low profile RAM to fit under the cooler's heatsink. This is only a factor if you have an air cooled CPU, however. And now that compatibility is out of the way, let's talk size. How much RAM do you need? Is speed and latency more important, or should you just go for capacity? Just to be clear, the number one most important thing when it comes to RAM is capacity. That is what gives you the ability to do all that multitasking you like so much and keep all 20 of those browser tabs and 4 background programs running perfectly smoothly. Speed is almost unnoticeable, especially between RAM of the same generation, and the FPS difference you will get from slightly higher memory speed in games is marginal. 16GB of DDR4-2133 RAM will always be better than 8GB of DDR4-3200, where the number after the generation is the speed. CAS latency, or just plain CL, is the least noticeable of the three. It is just like the name says, the memory's response time. It's an interesting subject, but that's something for another video. For now, all you need to know is that you can quite comfortably ignore the latency of RAM, because it only varies by a few nanoseconds anyways. But now the question comes back around, how much do you need? Getting less than 4GB of RAM, no matter which generation, is really not advisable. 4GB will be enough to use your PC only for browsing the web, creating documents, watching videos or looking at pictures, and playing the most basic of video games at low-ish settings. The next step up from there would be 8GB. This is the middle ground. This allows you to do all the previous, but also do moderate video and image editing, as well as playing the vast majority of games without much trouble. 16GB is the point where you can really do anything you want. Video editing and high multitasking as well as gaming will not give you any trouble. And yet, if you still find that you are low on memory, 32GB is always an option, but you will very rarely be able to take advantage of all of it. So. Now that you're up to speed on all of the terminology, you are ready to go shopping. I would recommend pulling up PC Part Picker because of its great interface, options and easy to use filters, but you can use any website of your choice. 
choose your desired capacity, and if you have any preferences, the brand, sort it all by lowest price, and scroll down until you find something you like. You'll notice that most products also state that they are non-ECC. Don't worry about that unless you are building a server, because consumer CPUs don't support ECC RAM anyways. And that's it, you're ready to go, and so am I. So thanks for watching this video, if you liked it, give it a like, if you didn't, give it a dislike, let me know why down below in the comment section, subscribe, all that good stuff, because I am out. Until next time, take care, bye bye.